Hi, this is Paul from finishyoursong.com and this is a very Cubase specific video. Uh, what I want to do is to have a look at adding content into the Media Bay. Media Bay is a facility within Cubase for accessing all of your stored loops, samples and MIDI files in one place. And in fact there are different, uh, if we just have a quick look at the menu here, there are different uh, ways to access it. You can go straight for the loops, straight for sounds. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to look at adding some samples into the media bay. What I've got is a folder on my hard drive that contains some loops that I've imported off a CD on the front of a magazine. And I don't normally go for loops, um, but these are Latin percussion loops properly performed by someone who knows what they're doing and they're going to be better than any Latin percussion I could program so I thought I'd have them along just in case any of the songs that I'm currently working on would benefit from some Latin percussion. So we open up the media bay and as you can see here we have some of the content that's already built in to Cubase. It comes with an awful lot of content itself. Uh, there's varying loops from some SQL stuff, a lot of stuff relating to the Alan Morgan uh, kits that were added into Cubase 7. And as you can see, there's a fair amount of it in this VST sound folder. But what you can also do is scan specific folders on your hard drive. So what I'm going to do is navigate to the folder that contains uh, the loops that I want to add in and then we can rescan to add those in. So here we go. That there, the loop loft, is the folder. It actually contains the loops and some one-shot samples. Now I don't want the one-shot samples, I just want the loops. So I'll open that up and it's in there, there's Cels Celso Alberti. Now, I'll just drag that across so that we've got some width. And as you can see, there's all these boxes down the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tick the box that corresponds to the Celso Alberti and as you can see now the file path to that particular was read. I'm just going to rescan it and it should now have included those. Now what we've got to do is find them. Up here we want the local hard disks and there we have all of the files that I've just added in and as you can see they, these have been added in so what we can do is push that back over there and now we can have a look at these Okay, so we've now imported our files into Media Bay. Next thing to do is to tag them. Now, to be able to do it off this list, you need to look in your preferences and make sure in Media Bay that Allow Editing in Results List is ticked. Okay. Okay, that. And so. What we now do is highlight, I've turned off autoplay to stop us keep getting belted with them. What you do is highlight all of these and we double click on tempo and that's 100 beats per minute and that writes it in and our family name we're going to set to
Latin loops. There we have it. And we scroll down and then keep going. These are all 100 beats per minute. Going until we find something different. Here we are. Double click 100, family name, Latin loops, and so on. And that's all there is to it. I'll keep doing this. I'm sure you don't want to be watching me scroll my way through all of these. So until next time, you take care of yourselves.